I'm not sure if I've added any atrium footage on YouTube yet. This is a small little atrium that we have in the middle of our home. As you can see, the living room's over here, front door, this room, which I will not be speaking of today. <laughs> we first moved into this house. There were probably six to seven plants in here, but they weren't plants that we planned on keeping for very long. A lot of the plants looked like this. I guess they're more so weeds. I don't really know. Anyway, we gradually added plants that we had already had, like this big fiddle leaf that is currently tipping over, but it just needs some time to acclimate from its new growth. Once spring hit, this fiddle leaf grew, I think, four new leaves. Pretty insane. String of bananas grew so much just in the past couple of months, and it's grown from here down crazy really happy about that and then we've got a money tree which has some yellowing um and i'm wondering if we need to repot this we've got this hope philodendron plant which came with the house some ferns we pulled out all the ferns but they're growing back so we'll probably have to pull that out this plant's not doing well this calathea i probably can prune this so that it, um, we can give it some more room to grow. A Rufutifora tetrasperma, which I was really happy to find last year. This, I think all of these need watering actually, but um, this one started to grasp onto the wall. So it's vining up this way. It's been pretty slow this winter, which is understandable. Pothos definitely needs to be pruned. That's looking pretty bad and watered. So this is a Monstera adansonii that's going up this trellis that I bought about six months ago. And then we've got a tiny little English ivy that was gifted to me by a friend on Cove's first birthday. More leaves that need to be pruned away. Yeah, this definitely needs to be watered. All right, we've got two birds of paradise plants, which I am now questioning what we were thinking by putting them right in the middle. I wish we had put them to the side so that there'd be like a middle that we could stand in. So if we push this back, you see this huge pothos vine and it's growing from who knows where. This came with the house and it just started growing. And now the leaves are huge at the top. And it reminds me of Bali. Every plant in Bali is just humongous. Hard transition over to this room, which is technically our formal dining. I previously had this peg rail shelf up here. As you can see, this is kind of like a catch-all room, but we are slowly going to be changing that. I'm about to paint the walls of this bathroom. This is our master bath. It's called Garden Sage by Sherwin-Williams. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. We decided to spend part of the day in a town that we don't usually come to, but they had some really great antique shops and a cute little place to have lunch. This place had a lot of cute stoneware. I found this really cute picture, but I didn't end up getting it because I was waiting to see what else I could find. Five dogs. <laughs> yep, yep. I don't know about you guys, but I used to love riding these things when I was little, and I just love being able to relive these little childhood memories, if you will. I don't know if these are still like a huge deal, but I had fun. I don't think Cove had fun, but I had fun. <laughs> One of the things that I found antiquing was this large crock bowl that I use for baking. I have a lot of sourdough recipes that I make throughout the week and this is perfect for it. And then I found this old, amazing oil painting. I love the color scheme. I love how old timey it is. I didn't have a particular place in mind, but I knew that it had to go somewhere in the home. We are heading to the park with some friends. We just ordered our kava bowls, which I've never had kava before. And I got a pita. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. 
I usually don't like to vlog when I'm around friends and other people that aren't my family. I'm gonna vlog a little bit today, or at least try to remember to. We'll see. <laughs> Is that an orange? Wow. We are here in the formal dining. My plan here is to put a peg rail all across this wall and the adjacent wall. I love that English look, but the main reason why I wanted to do this was because I wanted to add color to this room without having to paint all the way up to our 30 foot vaulted ceiling. So I found these peg rails at the container store and they're actually pretty affordable. So this is what I've got done so far. I've got five peg rails up. Now we put the dogs up stairs while we're gone instead of putting them in their crates. So I'm gonna be able to put that away. Cove's been not feeling well today. <laughs> you wanna say hi, Cove? <laughs> you are out of it, girly. The kudos. It's days like these where I'm just so grateful that this is my job. And it's truly so freeing to not have any other obligation but to love on Cove. All right, so I'm 95% done with this room. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. I was a little worried about what the color would be like in the lighting and just in general against the white that's already on there, but I love it so much. I just need to order two more small peg rails to complete the wall and then we can work on furniture. A little more insight into my life as a full-time mom and also a part-time business owner now. Most of my work happens in the evenings, and so we've just eaten dinner, and now I believe Alec is getting Cove ready for her bath. We've gotten to this nice rhythm where he takes over, gets her ready for bed while I transition into studio mode or editing mode, depends on the day. If you've been wanting a super realistic, non-glamorous evening in my studio, this is it. After being a mom for the whole day, it's really easy for me to switch into a state of flow and get busy with my hands. Look who it is. It's so cold. Is it cold? It's so cold. <laughs> I love you. This footage was filmed a week prior, so what you're seeing on the screen is already going to be released, but I'm currently cutting Grace and Mercy studs in the lilac color for the Easter spring season. And now I'm about to pop them into the oven and assemble them. One of the things that we have adapted into our weekly rhythm is roasting a chicken in the Dutch oven over some vegetables and then using the leftover meat from the breast for another meal, and then using the leftover carcass to make bone broth. I love sipping on bone broth throughout the week, especially if someone in the household is under the weather. Cove particularly wasn't feeling well these past few days, but there are so many health benefits to drinking bone broth. Aside from that, I like to use it in my recipes instead of buying the cartons of bone broth. It's just very cost effective and it feels really good to be able to use every part of the chicken for multiple points of my week. I really try to limit screen time when it comes to Cove. <laughs> But when she's sick, it's definitely an exception. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog, seeing the realistic side of being a mom and a business owner. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you come back next week.